Hi, uh, today I will show you how you can use the Torc tool integration in Azumuta. So uh, first of all, we will start with the side of the operator. So the operator has its operator screen and uh, we will show you how the operator can use uh, the Torc tool. And it's basically very, very easy. Uh, so the first thing that you will do is uh, you select the product order and then you immediately see the Azumuta interface and the instructions. So first of all, you can have all kinds of instructions to explain to the operator how uh, he needs to do something. Um, here I have two checks. So the first check is to ensure that the car is securely lifted. I say OK. Then uh, the second step is to ensure that the area is clean and free. Uh, OK. And then I get to the torque tool step. So the first thing that you will see here is that uh, where I need to torque will be indicated in yellow. Um, so if I uh, choose the second option, then the other uh, torque or other um, bolt will be highlighted. So let's start with uh, the first one. Uh, so now I can take the torque tool. Azumuta is, uh, has automatically sent the correct uh, torque values uh, to the torque machine. If I then torque here, You will see that the first value is green and it automatically proceeds to the next uh, step. You will also see that the torque uh, or rather the color of the item here is green and I can proceed to the second uh, value. Like this. Like this, also green. Also green and now you can see if I do something wrong like this that it will be red and it won't be possible to proceed to the next step and so it's, it's red here and you can see also uh, the reason of what was uh, going on after retorquing the incorrect value now the operator will be able to proceed to the next instruction you can just do this by clicking on uh, this icon or you can also configure it in Azumuta to automatically navigate to the next instruction if the operator is complete. Now let's go to the other interface. Hi, so welcome to the admin side uh, of Azumuta. Um, now I will explain you uh, how you can configure the torque check in Azumuta. Um, first, let's navigate to our work instruction. Like this. Uh, as you can see here, we have uh, our three-step uh, work instruction, really small. We can see that the visuals are filled in. And we can see that for each step, uh, a check is configured. So for the first two, there is a simple OK, not OK check. And then for the last one, there is a torque check. So let's click on the torque check uh, icon. And then we immediately go to our uh, check configuration panel. Um, so here we selected the torque check and then you can see down here if you scroll down all the configuration options uh, for uh, your torque uh, check. Uh, so first of all you can see the peripheral group and this means that you uh, want to select uh, a group of peripherals. For example uh, the group that is uh, for heavy torquing or the group that is for light torquing or a group that is uh, only applicable for a specific zone in your factory. So that's what you select here. Um, then um, I select my preset. So the preset is configured in the, in the torque tool, uh, for example, 31. Um, here you can select if uh, the, the value uh, is... Um, uh, if it's possible for the operator to manually override or enter the, the answer. For example, if the torque tool is uh, out of order and the, the operator needs to, to uh, tighten it manually, uh, there might be a manual torque tool lying around, then they need to be able to fill in the torque value manually. Um, then you can configure the torque target, uh, so uh, for example 8 newton meters, and you can specify the tolerances, uh, for example a 10% tolerance, uh, uh, upper tolerance and a 10% uh, lower tolerance. Uh, you can also select the number of tightings, uh, so here we will have uh, three uh, 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 torques uh, that we need to perform. 
And then uh, we can also select the highlight, the number of torque screws on visual pages. And so we, I will, can uh, configure the color here. I chose yellow so that it really pops which uh, torque uh, or which uh, screw that needs to be tightened. I can go down and select even more options. So for example, uh, I want the operator not to be able to proceed if the torque tool, uh, if the torque values are not filled in. Uh, so I can configure all of this uh, down here, and I go, can go from uh, really loose and, and uh, allow the operator to do everything, and then I can also uh, do it very strictly so that the operator really needs to follow the procedure into very high uh, detail. Um, so that's it basically to configure your step and then if you go to the visuals uh, you can see that uh, you can add those numbers here um, to the visual and I can say one two three and those will highlight during the procedure so I can move these around um, and I can point the arrow to the, the item like this uh, so and that's it basically so uh, that will work see you bye bye